I'm really interested in these things in our age which are basically impossible demands. Um, the most obvious one is that I write about is the, the insistence that there's, there's this insistence that goes, you have to understand me and simultaneously says, you will never understand me. Yeah. The same person can do both of those yeah. all the time. And we have that everywhere in our society. Now, there are other things of just impossible demands. For instance, uh, I say at one point, I cite a ridiculous person who complains on the BBC that they are often ridiculed in public. And that's not nice, but I point out, if you're ridiculous, you will be ridiculed. Like, you, you can't escape it other than by not being ridiculous. And my favourite impossible demand is the one that you just hit on there, which is the the demand that is currently just very uncomfortably in the culture in relation to the relations between the sexes, which is, yeah, women women are allowed to be as sexual as they want, as sexy as they want, but must not be sexualized. And this, as I point out, is not possible. Now, does this mean that men can do whatever they want? Obviously not. Obviously not. And you see, this is one of the conversations that's so hard to have because somebody always leaps in and goes, oh, I suppose, so I suppose you, you, you're you just apologizing for rape. You know, oh, so, so you think women should be raped? No, there are gradations between total chastity and rape. You know, that's how we're here. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't have Skype, we wouldn't have you, we wouldn't have me, yeah. we wouldn't have all the nice people watching. It's just chastity. <laughs> but but it's, a sort of, it's a sort of dementing, you know, we don't allow ourselves to have this conversation. And my point is, none of this means that men can do what they want. But if a woman is entering the sex game mm -hmm. by being highly sexualized, that, you know, and I'm, I'm talking about, the reason I give the Nicki Minaj example is because it's it's so overtly sexual mm -hmm. and and i particularly am interested in this video of anaconda i by the way the audible version of my book i read myself and it means that i read i have to read the lyrics oh I read that is Nick amazing lyrics, somebody right. has already put it into a video on youtube and, and cut the music over the top of yeah it. yeah oh, yeah so like who, me doing whoever that is whoever that is i salute you uh, also oh. to the to the people who are listening obviously the link to manasa crowds the book on amazon will be in there but i'm gonna put the link to the audible version as well so that you have to hear Douglas, yeah uh, i uh yeah uh, it's <laughs> it's gonna be my party piece i can see for the next think? couple of years it's, nice. go on do nikki do nikki <laughs> do nikki uh, again mate yeah but no, but he, she, uh, uh, the, the the fascinating thing about this 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 video, and I just I talked it over with a lot of straight friends, and uh, I, I just so what she does in Anaconda is among other things, it's all it's all completely sexual. I mean, it's just totally sexual. Just her wiggling her butt, and her friends wiggling her their butts, and they sometimes hit each other's butts, and they sing about each other's butts and their own butts. You get the gist. Yeah. And and then in case none of this has settled in. She then has a scene where she eats a banana, sprays her breasts with whipped cream and licks the cream off with one of her fingers, which is also obviously impossible to interpret. Um, and then there's this really interesting last 90 seconds or so of the video where she crawls on all fours into a sort of darkened room towards a very handsome, fit black guy in a chair. And she just does everything in front of him. It's... Um, you know, it's, it's not just as it's not some people say oh it's just uh like strip it's a, it's like a um, burlesque it's a, yeah it's a burlesque it's not she's she's all over his body this is a thing it, it, it she's she's wrapping her legs around him she's wiggling her butt in his face she's it's a total predatory thing and towards the end of this interminable scene the guy you can see he's starting to you know and he goes eventually and touches her slightly on the side and she whips around and smacks his hand away and walks out and obviously the message of the video that Nicki Minaj is giving is I can do all of this but don't you dare think you can control the game and this seems to me to be a dementing demand a dementing claim which is apart from anything else deeply unfair to men because the whole problem of relations like that is 
when does the game become about that? When does it? Be- when do we enter the sex business? When are we in that proximity? And and the Nicki Minaj thing is only if I get, lead you all the way there and give you permission all the time, all the way. But if I'm just enjoying myself in a skimpy outfit, wiggling my butt in your face, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, don't you even think that you still control the situation? I control it all the time. I, the woman, and I think that is dementing and deeply unfair to men, and not possible. It's not possible.